actually be fun, right? Yeah, it's gonna be great. Uh, I am currently wearing a Hawaiian shirt I found for $4, uh, which, first off, $4, great deal. Second off, Hawaiian shirt, even better deal. But then, if you look at it even closer, this is a piece of propaganda which suggests that there is more than one Santa Claus on Earth <laughs> performing the duties of the singular Santa Claus. So, yeah, I'm woke as fuck right now. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. When you look like someone shaped Hagrid from Harry Potter, there's just a long list of shit you can no longer do in this world. Like, I can't get into a smart car and have that be a normal thing. If I get into a smart car, I look like the most convincing Transformers cosplay of all time. <laughs> like, he should, he should go to San Diego. He'll win awards. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. You're late, but we appreciate it. Love you anyway. Uh, everybody having a good con? Everybody having fun? Yeah. Uh, Fun fact, if you guys take a shot every time you see someone dressed up as Deadpool, you will die in a pool. That's <laughs> at your hotel later. That's a thing. Uh, I am a big nerd, huge nerd, mostly because of my size. I'm like an average nerd compared to everybody else, but yeah. Uh, and you know, I like, I like the TV. Last year I cosplayed, I just wore a bunch of brown and I cosplayed as the boulder from Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it's called riffing, guys. In case anybody wants to know. No. Uh, you know, comics, all the movies are coming out. Uh, that's always fun. Uh, here's the deal. I like, to, I like to go to the movies, but I like to do some things before the movies. Mostly uh, smoke that grass, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Big fan of Satan's cabbage. That's a thing. <laughs> but we're in Indiana. Still very illegal here. But I do a lot of shows in Michigan where that kind of thing is pretty much legal, which is pretty dope, am I right? Yeah, that's a pun. Look at me go. Give it up for Assassin's Creed back there. He's waiting to murder me after the show. Uh, I'll see you later, Ezio. Um, I'm just ripping. I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I, uh, I'm a big fan of the Facebook. Everybody's on Facebook, right? Uh, I like to do this thing where I'm currently a member of 37 different garage sale groups, uh, which is fun, right? Like that's, you get to see people try to sell their sad stuff because they uh, didn't make their rent payment, uh, so they try to sell things. But here's the deal, is when they do try to sell these things, I like to be the first person to comment on them, and uh, I like to ask one simple question, and that question is, is it haunted? <laughs> And I know that sounds dumb, right? It's dumb. But here's the deal. People can say no, or people can ignore me, and that's fine. But sometimes, people say what? Or question mark? And that there is a window. A window for me to come diving through with absolute craziness to see if I can troll these people into talking to me all day because I have nothing better to do. Uh, so I'm going to read some of my favorite Is It Haunted adventures, which you guys can all follow on Twitter, at Haunted Shopper. Suggest you follow that. Uh, I'm nothing if not forever on brand. Uh, let me read some of my favorite adventures. Here we have a pink sapphire ring someone was trying to sell for $40. Hot deal, right? I write, Is It Haunted? They write back, No, why would it be haunted? There's that window. Here's where I get absolutely crazy. I was like, sapphires have been known to trap negative energy inside them, almost like the top back personal recorder Kevin McAllister had in Home Alone 2. <laughs> I believe that was the one where he was lost in Hoboken, New Jersey. Anyway, these gems seem to trap emotions of terrible moments, so if you murder your roommate during the finale of Lost because they wouldn't shut up about their day at work, there's a chance your spirit dwells within this ring. If that is the case, I will give you a hundred bucks. 